so what is the derivative it is derived from an underlying asset but what it is first of all it is a it is a hedging so you are uh, making me audible what uh, i gave you visible huh? link between visibility and audibility right so to quickly sum up yesterday we discussed about what is derivative types of derivatives why derivative and importantly we focused on how derivatives work why people buy derivatives why people sell derivatives in contrast of futures and forwards yesterday we have discussed about stock futures that is ntpc and forex future that is what us dollar versus indian rupee we have seen as an example for futures in forex forex for stock we have seen ntpc so till that point of view things are clear to you if i am right okay let us go back to our yesterday's discussion a person bought 1000 ntpc futures at the same time the other person also sold same ntpc futures am i right that's how we discussed then what happens on 29th of may should be the question okay we have seen in practical point of view on 29th of may i told you that in trading point of view or investment point of view in derivatives futures you should take the opposite position on or before 29th of may that's what we discussed am i right am i right all of you but in reality the logic behind this is two persons entered into a contract future contract means for example person bought the other person sold listen to me carefully okay let us go back to our own mr a and b example a was the a is the seller and b is the buyer then what happens on 29th of may we are in may contracts okay may contracts on 29th of may whatever may be the price mr a has to deliver 1000 ntpc shares to mr b followed and mr b has to pay the price multiplied by 1000 shares to okay that is the real intention of entering into a forward contract okay but that doesn't happen any time in the reality that's what we discussed yesterday in reality what happens the person who sold ntpc shares he takes the opposite position on or before 29th of may and the person who bought ntpc shares will take opposite position on or before 29th of may able to follow okay so the the thing we, we have discussed yesterday is a practical approach okay but on 29th may seller delivering ntpc shares and buyer paying the price into 1000 shares is a real design of a future contract conceptually speaking clear right shall we go ahead before we start if you want to know something you please ask me anything you would like to know before we start right now first of all let me complete this conceptual framework then we can come back to the real things so we have seen forwards we have seen futures so same is the case with options if you are the buyer of call option you will anticipate the price to go up if you are the seller i mean if you are the buyer of the put option then the you will anticipate the price to come down okay is that clear yesterday i differentiated forward and future 
Now today we have seen an absolute difference between future and option. Okay, future means it's mandatory. Option means it gives you the right, not an obligation. It's an option to you, in fact. The instruments uh, title itself says that it's an option to you, not the obligation. Okay, if you want to exercise, you got the right. You don't wait for any other's mercy. You can exercise it straight away. Then, now, practically come, uh, discussing about futures. Yesterday we have discussed about futures trading (NTPC). We have seen yesterday future as a risk management tool, hedging tool. Am I right? Now, you want to buy NTPC future today. You want to buy NTPC future today. NTPC future is one ninety three. Okay. NTPC future is one ninety three. This is future. And NTPC stock is also one ninety three. Which one you will buy? You leave out hedging. Now we are not talking about risk management and hedging. You want to make some money. You want to simply buy and sell. Okay. You want to simply buy and sell. I I I already told you very clearly yesterday that the price of the future is based on price of the equity or the underlying asset. If the NTPC price goes up, future price goes up. If the NTPC equities price comes down. future price will also okay now this is the picture available to you equity future then what you will do which one you will buy equity, equity. why so you want to understand the right side so why entering the future contract and future you need not i told you no honor 29th honor before 29th of may you can exercise you bought the future today you can sell it today itself tomorrow you can sell on 29th you can sell that is there you need not wait till 29 okay yeah why equity any someone has told me why equity okay okay if you are making loss you can uh, hold for long time in equity so it will uh, recover in future it is not a possibility very good fantastic any other reason you should buy than future instead of future some of you want to buy equity it is no no i am asking you the difference and your stance there is very good if it is ntpc 1625 i have taken 1000 i think let me let me make it practical this is some 1650 i believe 1650 is minimum if it is future okay if you want to buy equity you can buy one share and multiples of one shares okay but if you want to buy uh, futures 1650 is minimum and multiples of 1650 that's a very good reason why you want to buy an equity then yes about equity i'll come to futures about equity anything else any other reason maybe i will tell you you are looking for dividends equity gives you dividend futures doesn't give you dividend you are looking for voting rights in the company you want to attend the annual general meetings of the company you want to become the shareholder and the owner of a company then it will go okay then people who said they want to buy futures why someone said futures it is uh, you can make short term profit by buying equity also no but other disadvantages as your friend said if in short term if you are in loss you have to you have to book the loss in terms of future but equity you can hold for longer period then why future why people go for futures i'm talking about practical trading i'm not talking about hedging tool hedging we completed the discussions yesterday the reason is 
let us take 16 i mean 1000 uh, units for uh, calculation simplicity okay how much is the investment here 1 lakh here 1,93,000. But in the case of futures, if you want to buy equity and hold for one month or two months or one year or ten years, you have to pay 1,000 into 193 rupees, that is 1,93,000 rupees to the broker. Then take the delivery of the shares. But in the case of futures, it is not the thing. Yes? You just pay margin. Some percentage of that 1,93,000. 5%, 10%, 20%, I'll tell you types of margin amounts. Okay? You pay some amount as margin to the broker, you will get 1000 NTPC futures. So, if you are looking for a short term, as he was saying, if you are looking for short term returns, you are not going to hold the stock for longer period. That is the case. Instead of buying the stock, you buy futures by paying less amount of money. Instead of 1,93,000, you make 20% is the margin amount to you. So, you will pay only 40,000. You will pay 40,000 to the broker as margin, and but have the exposure of 1,93,000. Isn't that a good idea? That is the factor which drives people to buy futures and do trading, futures trading. <coughs> Yeah, then uh, why he will, uh, uh, why the seller will uh, sell you? The seller is selling the shares to you. Without you paying him, why he will give the shares to you? No, not commission, margin. Uh. Who said that? Again, you are mixing up and trying to confuse yourself. Future moves, the price of the future moves up and down accordingly with the movement of underlying asset. But I didn't tell you that if you are buying future means you have to buy underlying asset also. Did I say that? No. Okay? Clear? So that is why people buy futures. Then options. What is an option? I think is there on the screen available to you. When you talk about options, again it can be classified into two ways. One is call option, put option. Before talking about uh, call option, put option in derivatives, I would like to tell you the futures of a bond. Okay? Futures of a bond. I think in financial management again you might have learned about that. Callable bond, puttable bond. Did you hear about that? No. no. Maybe in the later stages you may hear about that. So let us not discuss about that, but still I would like to differentiate these two. Call option, put option, these are the two terms or words used in issue of bonds. Okay? Again, the same two terms are used here and we are using here. What are they? Call option, put option. Call option, it gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given future date. Now, let us come to options. Option is similar to future. Okay. Now let us see. I use the word call option gives the buyer the right but not the obligation. What is the difference between right and obligation? Right means right is a kind of flexibility. You can exercise or not, it is up to you. Right to vote, cast your vote. Okay. It is up to you. If you want, you can go to the polling booth and give your vote. If not, it is not needed. Okay. Obligation means mandatory, compulsory. Okay. In this case, 
it is obligation or right obligation on 29th of may seller has to deliver 1000 shares it's an obligation okay if he doesn't deliver the market will come into picture NSU or BSU or NASDAQ or NYMEX, whatever it is. Okay. And what is the obligation of Mr. B? He has to. Buying and selling already happened. Buying and selling already happened. But that settlement will be done on 29th of May. Okay. So, what is the obligation of buyer? He has to pay that required amount. Now, clear? So, here there is an obligation. In the case of options, there is no obligation. Now, let us see how it works. For example, you want to buy a car, okay, maybe i10, the new Hyundai is a car, i10, am I right? Yes. i20, i10. i10, it has come, the demand is huge, huge demand is there, but supply is not there, this product is new. Hyundai Motors, they couldn't expect this much of demand. So, they produced only, uh, they, they went on low capacity utilization for the new car. So, because of this what happened, they started collecting advances from the public. Okay, you have to pay 10,000 rupees as advance. If you pay 10,000 rupees as advance today, within a period of one month, you will get the delivery of the car and you can pay the whole money. Follow the example, unity concentrate, both of you please concentrate, I am getting 10,000 paid as advance today if you want the car and you will get the delivery of the car when? After one month. By for example the car price any idea? 4 lakhs. Okay, take it, uh, let us take it as 5 lakhs. Okay, 5 lakhs is the price of the car, 10,000 you paid, the balance 4 lakh 90,000 you will pay after one month upon the delivery of the car. Fine. Now, today is what 29th of April. So, what is your deadline? Deadline for you is to pay 4.9 lakhs. Deadline for the seller is to deliver the car. Am I right? All of you? Right. So, this is the contract between you, the buyer, and Hyundai Motors retail showroom in Bangalore, the seller. Okay? Now, 29th May has come. Okay? Now, you have the obligation or right to take the car delivery? It is not the obligation. It is the right. If you want, you can take the delivery of the car by paying 4,90,000 rupees or else leave your 10,000 with him. Understood? Okay, because you are very aggressive today seeing Shah Rukh Khan's advertisement and so on. You are highly influenced. You are induced to buy that car today. But after one month, I think the whole aggressiveness has calmed down. And maybe you are running short of money and you thought you went into economics. <coughs> Instead of spending 5 lakhs, I will spend 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs on some car or I will wait for Tata's 1 lakh car. Your economics have ignited. Okay? So, because of that reason, if you want, you can take the delivery of car. If you don't want, please leave it. Okay? So, this option is that kind of instrument between two parties. Not exactly that, similar in those lines. Okay? You take the same example. You take the same example. Mr. A, the seller of NTPC, Mr. B, the buyer of NTPC. Now I am giving you the conceptual framework and working of options. Okay? Today, Mr. A sold NTPC for what? What was the price we have taken yesterday? 193? 193 and what is okay if I show you 1000 right 1000 multiplied by 193 okay means what 
A is the seller, B is the buyer. Here what happens is unlike your futures, Mr. B, the buyer will take the shares of NTPC and pay 193 and multiple of something. If at all, the price goes beyond 193. I repeat, just follow me carefully. The buyer, the buyer got the right but not the obligation to, to buy 1000 quantity of NTPC shares at a given price of 193 on or before 29th of May. Followed the definition well substituted with the information. Okay. So the buyer got the right but not the obligation okay, to take the delivery of NTPC shares on or before 29th of May. So what is the criteria here? He wanted to buy NTPC shares there because he is anticipating the price will go up. Okay. If the price does not go up, I think there is no fun of buying NTPC. And this kind of uh, option as a contract was, uh, uh, was popular company by name Enron, Enron Power Distribution. So seasoning the, see, seeing the seasonal fluctuations in the price of the power distribution in US, in South, Southern America, it went into an option agreement with the power distribution companies. Okay? So in that way, the option contracts were more practical. Okay? Conceptually, it looks like this, but practically it is something completely different, not something completely different. Okay? This conceptual base is clear to you? Options? Call option. The example I gave you just now is call option I told you. Okay? Opposite to that is put option. What is that put option? It gives the what? It gives the buyer. Buyer of what? Not buyer of this, buyer of the contract. Okay? Buyer of the contract, the right but not the obligation to sell. Okay? I got a put option. Here we discussed about what? Right. This is the example of a call option. Okay. Now same thing, Mr. X, Mr. Y. He is the seller, he is the buyer. He is the again put option here. Okay. Who is the seller in put option? The buyer of the put option is the seller. Okay. Listen. Buyer of the call option, in call option, the buyer of the call option is the buyer. Okay. He will make profit if the price goes beyond 193. That is clear. Okay. No, no. I bought it today from you. I bought it for, uh, today from you for what price? 193. Contract agreement period is one month. 29th May. On 29th May, the price is 200. As a buyer, you will exercise this option or not? You will exercise. Why? Okay. Clear? If the price is something 190, you will exercise or not? Why? You are in loss. If you exercise it, you are in loss. Why? You, got, you bought for 193, its market value is 190. The other way, if price goes up, if price goes up like this, you are in profit. Okay? Means what? If you are in loss, you will not exercise. Okay? If you are in profit, you can exercise. No. You go in the buyer point of view only for the time being. Okay? Remember, we are supposed to talk only about derivatives market. But I am giving the dynamics of instruments. So that you will have a strong funda on derivatives. We are extending. I am supposed to cover in one session but uh, uh, extending to two sessions. So in both the cases, let us worry about the buyer and seller uh, wherever it is required. Okay? This is about call option. Seller position, buyer position. 
Now we exemplified with the buyer position, profit and loss. Clear? Now let us talk about put option. Okay. In put option, what happens? The buyer of the put option has the right but not the obligation to sell. Okay. Means we are talking about this fellow. In call option, we discussed about this fellow. Am I right? Did you follow me? In call option, we discussed about the buyer in the contract. Okay. Buyer of the call option, buyer. In put option, buyer of the <coughs> put option, <coughs> his position is seller. Okay. Now, how he will make profit? Again, consider the same thing. Consider the same price, same script, but put option. When this fellow will make money? If the price comes down, he will make money. If the price goes up, he will lose money. So when he will exercise? When the price is something below 193, then only this fellow will exercise. Okay? I hope I am clear to you. To repeat, call option gives the buyer of the call option a right but not the obligation to 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 buy we are talking about call option in the case of put option what it gives the right <coughs> it gives it gives the right but not the obligation to the buyer of the put option to sell okay is that clear so if you are buying call option means you should anticipate the price to go up then only you will you will make money am i right and the buyer of the put option if you are that then you should anticipate the price to come down okay same thing we have seen in futures also if you are the buyer of the future then price you should anticipate the price to you are the buyer of a future then you should anticipate the price to go up or come down you bought ntpc future for 193 then you would like to see the price to go up or come down further then why you are not responding it's a quite a simple case the other way you sold future of ntpc then what is your stance you anticipate that the price should come down as simple as that okay am i clear then coming back to options coming back to options now in uh, practicality options are available to you unlike futures there are different strike prices available to the buyers or sellers if you want to buy or sell for example let us take call option follow me very carefully all of you don't write anything right later for these few minutes please listen to me for example 193 is the strike price i'm sorry market price okay 193 is the future price okay now coming to options okay there is something called strike price or exercise price strike price or exercise price what is that strike price because of the volatility today it is 193 tomorrow it may go to 195 it may come down to 180 go to 210 come down to 150 we can't say so which price should be the best price to enter into your contract okay because i clearly told you the buyer gets the in call option the buyer gets the right but not the obligation if it crosses 193 am i right then what is this i can enter into 193 rupees 5 paise also 193 rupees 95 paise that creates confusion to enter into lot of contracts 
So to avoid that, exchanges in Indian scenario in NSE, what you have is, you have strike prices multiple of 5 rupees in the case of uh, uh, NTPC. Okay? Listen to me carefully. What is this strike price? For example, if the market price is 193, you have strike price something like this, 200, 195, 190, 185, 180. This you call it as strike prices. What does this strike price imply? Means what? Instead of going for an odd number like 193 or 193.50 or 193.95, okay, you can choose one of the strike prices to enter into a contract. What is it entering into contract? Either buying a call option or selling a call option. Okay, clear all of you. So now let me exemplify. Look at the board, all of you. You bought one ninety-five rupees strike price option. Okay. Practically, what happens is, practically, what happens is something different from academically what we speak. Okay. <coughs> Conceptually, what did I tell you? Mr. A, Mr. B entered into an agreement. Okay? If the price reaches 200, the buyer of this option will exercise. Okay? Right. But the seeing the demand for the options in the market, seeing the success of the trading of options in the market, market is offering a ready-made strike prices for you. Like we discussed about futures. If you want, if you are interested, you can buy 200 rupees strike price NTPC call option, 195 rupees strike price NTPC call option or 180 rupees strike price call option also. Okay. Now a question to you, I think I will put it on Excel, if the board is visible to you, all of you, let me put it here. Yeah. So. 200, 195, 190, 185, multiples of uh, 5. Okay. Now, what is the current market price? 193 I have taken. Okay. For example, you want to buy 180 strike price NTPC call option. Okay. I think this is meaningless. Why? The market price is already above 180. Does it mean to say that you can buy and immediately exercise? I think it is not meaningful. So what happens in the market is, for example, 180 market price, the difference between market price and the strike price what? Huh? 13 rupees. 13 rupees is the difference. And how about this? If you want to buy this, hmm? 8 rupees minus, <coughs> okay, right. Now, when you talk about uh, 180, 185, 190 strike prices, I think you are uh, the buyer of this call option is ready to pay. 3 rupees call 3 rupees for 190 strike price 8 rupees for 185 and 13 rupees for 180 strike price let us limit our discussions to this meaningful strike prices okay